Meet Joseph Ouvier and his wife Omase, both PhD students at the Northeast Agricultural University have been comfortably installed in a two-bedroom apartment, all thanks to the Chinese government. We need Nigerians that will come here not only to study, but also to learn their culture so that we can have a mutual relationship that will enhance our economic development. Joseph and Omase are one of many Nigerian and African couples enjoying the benefits of the China-Africa cooperation. It's like you're even paid to study. So I think that's one of the major advantage. And then you have access to good equipment. Because in Nigeria, apart from sources for fun for yourself, you, there are no equipment. Sometimes you don't do your research work yourself. You have to give it to, give it to other labs. Since the first group of 33 international students arrived in China to study in 1950, the number of foreign students have continued to increase. Only in some the special research field, maybe we can equal together. Uh, we're up to the, the Western levels. In only some, the most, I think, uh, most research field, mm, not we are not up to the Western levels. Elkana Olushayo Adegoke is also on Chinese government scholarship with his wife. Both are PhD students at the Northeast Agricultural University, Harbin. Looking at the level of research that we are doing here compared to other countries like America and uh, Australia, uh, there is no difference. Founded in 1948, the Northeast Agricultural University of China prides itself as one of the schools in the region with the most Nigerian students. They have also been active in helping developing countries produce talents in various fields of science and technology. Coming to China uh, to study in this kind of university, and most especially in this laboratory, has given me the privilege of uh, moving ahead of many people in this field of study. The 2012 Chinese university statistics show that over 27,000 African students were recorded to be studying in China, and the number has been increasing on a yearly basis. Send the students here to study, to learning, to learn some technology. Uh, then, after they graduate, they come back, they bring some knowledge, bring some technique back. This, is, I think, is the real cooperation. The Chinese government has recently increased the number of scholarships for African students, both for master's and PhD programs. From Harbin, China, Julieta Aino, NTA News.